Hi guys, I've uh, got a bit of an issue here. I just wanted to inform you about CopyCube has a bit of a problem with uh, two things you might think should agree with each other. Um, one is does line collide with bounty box or C node? Now my game run uh, revolves around highlighting different things in the in the in the in the game and doing things according to what type of uh, thing you've highlighted and it changes the cursor icon and opens the doors this way and it all works fine, works good. Um, but what I was wanting to do is when click on that door to unhide the room behind the door and to to use that I was wanting to use the uh, default copy cube um, uh, behavior um, the on click, on click behavior so when click on this do something um, now I was wanting to use that thinking that that would match my um, you know does, does the line collide with bounding box of C node uh, but actually they don't agree um, by default it's this is selected like that no click when included that means if your little bounding box is hidden behind another mesh bounding box then it won't activate um, so that's an, that's an instant um, difference there so you wouldn't have that selected because they don't match but um, if you try it like that uh, according to the documentation um, by unticking it it will test each polygon of the 3D model um, but if you do tick it only the bounding box collision test is performed instead of uh, the polygon of the model so the bounding box Banding box text test only. <clears throat> According to this, is faster but not per, very precise. Um, well, anyway, so basically, I've tried both ways, and they both don't agree with my um, does line collide with bounding box or C node. You'd think that to select this one here, to actually select that, tick that, that would be an exact match because now you, you, you're just checking the bounding box only, you're not checking the polygons of the mesh. But unfortunately, for all that, it still doesn't match. About 95% of the time it'll be all right, but that other one, what between one and five percent of the time, uh, they won't agree. And so, if you had the, the door unhide code connected to the on click of the door switch, then sometimes it's just not going to work. The code just won't run at all sometimes, which is extremely annoying. And it's unknown why. There's no reason for it, but that's how it is. Between each and every door switch, I've got a little code that that just prints off tells me that the room that this code is run it says and this is the, the unhide room code it just uh, it stops any hiding code running and it tells it to unhide the room and then tells me okay which room number I've just unhidden but unfortunately when uh, about one to five percent of the time the that code just won't run at all for some reason the door will open but the code to unhide the room will not run and therefore your room will be left unhidden you'll just be looking through a blank uh, room with uh, visible walls and all that sort of stuff I'll just show you that now so so in short you can't rely on the two things to agree because they actually don't agree which is uh, pretty sad really anyway what can you do um, so don't use two of them together use one or the other but don't use both I'll just show you that now Okay, I'm going to show you how this works most of the time, but for some unknown reason, it's not consistent. It's different a door every time. Um, it won't. So the, my my interactable does it line collide with bounding box of C node works perfectly fine. That changes that cursor when it does it, and it opens the door. Everything good, uh, but the on click behavior just doesn't always match it. So now each of these doors, I've I've selected. Uh, bounding box test only so that should have in theory matched exactly to my code and, and should always agree but unfortunately they don't so this will this will play out you'll see I'll just keep playing with it for a little while and it will soon play out and it won't be any specific door it'll be just random it'll be unknown reason unknown timing it'll just won't work right see the notes in the in the box at the top right it'll tell you if the code runs it'll tell you the door it's been unhidden 
But when when the room when the code is not run for whatever reason, that that text box doesn't come up, doesn't show. So it tells me that the code hasn't run. Uh, so let me just find uh, the, where it plays up. One second. And in case you're wondering, uh, the doors are numbered from uh, right to left. That's 10, 11, 12, and 13. So these are the doors I'm just testing out at the moment. There you go, there it is there. Do you see that? That's door number um, uh, that's door number twelve. And the, the message doesn't say room twelve unhide. That means the code hasn't run, and that's why it hasn't unhidden the room. So now it looks like this. It's pretty crazy, yeah. You just broke my game. Um, anyway, so yeah, so now it'll work, you watch. Room twelve. Room twelve unhide. That's what it should have done. So it's not reliable, unfortunately. The two methods don't agree with each other 100% of the time. So uh, it's just can be a huge trap, a huge trap if you expect them to, to agree because they just won't. 100. Oh look, done it again. No reason for it. Just done it again. I'll click it again. So you go. Weirder. Very weird. Yeah, so anyway, that's a problem you've got to be aware of. So don't use both methods at the same time. Just use one or the other. Um, yeah, and just go with that. So that's the only way around it, I think. Um, I doubt Nico's going to fix this problem. So, yeah. Okay, uh, cheers, guys.